I seem to have fixed our issues with uh, the Robo Terra sound. Hooray! Not that you care out there, but here's what happened. I had been plugging the USB sound card into a USB 3.0 slot when Windows 7 doesn't like USB 3.0 and it was making it glitchy. I put it back into a 2.0 slot. We should be OK. You are a duck. <sighs> that means what? But hooray. Well, no, it's, it's every time I start describing technical stuff. People's eyes kind of glaze over like hypnotism. So or I mine certainly do, especially because I'm a Mac user and you describe those technical stuff. So I'm like restarting didn't fix it. <laughs> Buy a new one. <laughs> That's how you troubleshoot, right? Uh, so that doesn't fix it. You buy a new one. Mm, Mac. Mm. So um, we've got the normal I say normal. Uh, why is this normal? This should not be normal for us. But it is. It is. We've got the normal collection of bizarre and crazy. Let's let's get dive into it. <laughs> Somebody said we should do an ad where I'm a Mac and you're a PC. We should, though. That would be so funny. We should. I can wear a hipster cardigan. And Each week, Catherine goes out on the World Wide Interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here to a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Really? You and Mac and Pete, we're, we're not doing that. We should. It's so five years ago. Now it's, right, so it's retro now. <laughs> okay, this one is. I'm a Mac hipster because I like Macs before they were cool. I had a fucking Apple II when I was a kid. Yeah. You, you sure you don't have the horn rims? I have the hot pink ones somewhere, remember? Mm. I have hot pink horn rims somewhere. I don't know where. Are they in the drawer? Oh, God. Now she's looking for them. While you're doing that, I think I'm going to introduce us to our first story this week. Uh, and fortunately, this one's closer to you than it is to me. Um, Have you ever had a bad day? Yes. I've had them. I've had quite a few recently. I've had a I've had a bad day. I have never, however, I've dealt with it in many ways. You know, I've gone to blow off steam. I've gone to, you know, drink. I've gone to, you know, whatever. Never have I ever. This is this kind of radio. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's kind of turning into never have I ever. Never <laughs> have I ever. Dealt with it thusly. Drunken Brooklyn lawyer tossed her panties at cops during berserk rant. Brooklyn lawyer tried to skip out on a six dollar taxi fare, then was busted after stripping off her panties and tossing them at cops while screaming profanities. Cops, they uh, uh, cops, they found. Wait a second. The cops, wait, they don't found her. Wait a second. I'm putting that on the big screen. Uh, let's see if I can highlight it. Cops, they found. You fail. You you it's fail, called, New York Post. It's called editing. This is the fucking New York Post. This is not the backwater nowhere gazette. Cops, this they found. <laughs> Found a very drunk Stephanie Hendricks, 39, which is older than us, old enough to know better, who has clerked for an orange Oregon Supreme Court justice and served as a Blackman fellow in front of a Williamsburg deli after she bolted from a yellow cab. The body barrister who lives with her church going mom in Flatlands pulled off her panties, showed cops her lady parts, then lunged at them yelling, quote, suck my pussy and quote, eat my ass, you fucking pigs. Wow. The incident was captured on the Delhi surveillance video, which showed Hendricks charging out of the shop, her butt exposed and lunging at officers. My boyfriend broke up with me and embarrassed Hendricks explaining yesterday. I went out. I got drunk. I had a bad night. No. OK, pretty much everybody has been dumped once hmm. in their lives. I have never 
upon being dumped, blown off a six dollar six six dollars. The bail was more, I'm sure. And I mean, you're a lawyer, so you're probably going to get around the legal fees because I'm sure you know a guy who knows a guy or some such. Mm. But the bail was probably more than six dollars. Blown off a six dollar cab there mm-hmm. and then thrown my undergarments at somebody. I've never thrown my undergarments at somebody, period. I've never been to a Tom Jones concert. Even when drunk, I have known when something I'm about to do is going to make a situation worse. And that has, in fact, stopped me on occasion. But I'm well aware, you know, you you have that moment, that tiny, tiny, lucid moment when you're thinking, wait a second. This might be a bad call. I wonder if she's sitting there. She was sitting there thinking, you know, just just brain brain. Hear me out for a second. Maybe throwing our thong at the cops, maybe not such a good idea. But apparently there was not a consensus on that point because it happened. If you think that perhaps the cop that has approached you is a stripper, you wait for them to throw their pants at you. The stripper cop throws his pants at you, not the other way around. You, if, you, if you were a stripper, you would already know. You'd like to think. You got to give her credit, though. The ingenuity of, of direct, direct assault with vagina. Just charge them with her with her lady parts. I don't really think that's an effective attack, but it's 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 new. It's you got to give it the ingenuity. I did used to know a very, very gay man who whenever he'd make me angry, I would threaten a flash. Of him. He would recoil as though I was holding an angry badger at him. I mean. I'll take things I didn't need to know for a thousand, Alex. Oh, look, the Daily Double. And yet still, unless she has a gun stored up that vagina facing the proper direction. Mm. The vagina first attack, not a terribly effective attack. They they removed that from the last years of war. Because it just wasn't very effective. Nobody picked that weapon. Does what? that work? Years of war. I don't play video games. I don't even know. If that joke. <laughs> I just have just the most bizarre image. Is that, first, is that a first person shooter? Yeah, that's that's okay, good. I think that was think, I was trying to think of a game. I'm like, I don't think Grand Theft Auto is like I don't I, I play rock band sometimes. I, I think that's a that's a that's a, one of the DLCs. The uh, the vagina cannon. I think that. Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the ground to air vagina missile. <laughs> we're 12 <laughs> we're fucking 12 that would be a way to take down the taliban though the, fr- the, the full court vagina press okay moving on we often make the the uh we often talk about naked crazy on this show too often quite often we're we're like you know, th- this this is go oh, naked crazy. I do believe. D- are you f- and I'm taking a little highbrow here, kids? Brace yourselves. You, are you familiar with the Plato shadows on the wall philosophy? Yes, yes. The cave. Yes. The cave and the shadows on the wall and the ideal. I think I have found the platonic ideal of naked crazy. OK. Naked man arrested at Victoria Mall. Victoria, all police officers arrested a Houston man Sunday afternoon for running naked and screaming, quote, nonsense at Victoria Mall. Um, Ray, uh, I thought she was literally screaming the word nonsense, and that would have been really great, like a a porny Monty Python sketch. (laughs) Renee Esparza, 40, was arrested for disorderly conduct. Um, He was apparently lodging at the La Quinta Inn. I'm sorry, that's that's a Mike Regalia joke. La Quinta Inn, a hotel across the uh, street from the mall. 
Um, he ran across the street, entering the mall near Best Buy. Strauss said Esparza was shot at, quote, was spotted, quote, ranting and raving in the mall shortly after throwing his wallet, phone and money out of his blue jeans pocket. He then removed his clothes and began running in the nude. Mall shoppers tackled him to the ground and kept him contained until five police officers arrived. Wow. Okay, those five people or, or no, I'm sorry, the, not the police officer, but whoever tackled him, those mall shoppers. No, guys, don't don't touch the naked guy. Why? You know, he's not armed. <laughs> no, you don't. You know, he's not going to start shooting. No, you don't. He's not going to start shooting anything lethal. <laughs> Gross. Yes. Lethal. No, I just you couldn't pay me to go touch a naked guy. It's a <laughs> naked if, stranger. If, what? what if he's hot? <laughs> That's a fair question. What if it's one of those half naked Abercrombie models? Then it's like a game. Honey, you, you and I both know full well. It's never the hot people who do this. Fair. Why never. can't it be? I don't know. It just never is. Why Why can't Chris Evans go insane and run around naked in my town? It's always the people you don't want to see naked, you know? I know. It's always, it's never the ones you look and you're like, you know, Yeah, I'm DJ Shire, why can't Jensen Ackles lose his mind and start running around naked? You sit there, you're like, I'm I'm actually cu- actually curious about that. I'd like to see that person. No, it's never that person. It's always the one that's like, oh, God, never. Please, no. Please, yeah. please, no. It's like a reverse stripper. I will pay you to put your clothes back on. It's always some dude who looks like he should have a bra on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> How do you measure cup size on that? <laughs> uh, no but really this is this is what it's all about when it comes to naked crazy this is pretty much what it's all about throwing your shit away strip it in the what nonsense was he screaming though that's what i want to know make it look high make it high where's the orange julius <laughs> uh, look at my penis that might have been one the xbox one is a good system yes that's that's a bunch of nonsense um where are the pretzels yes. i'm a vampire there you go um uh, hello. michael it's- bay is a great director yes that's glenn it's- beck it's- is an intelligent individual Game of Thrones is the feel good comedy of the year. Depends sometimes. Let's, uh. Yeah, okay, guys, Bieber, guys. Justin Bieber is the greatest artist of our time. Wow, the entire channel is just just screaming nonsense at us. That that's. But are they naked? <sighs> I've broken a channel. I shouldn't have done that. I don't want to know if you're naked. Don't tell me. Hmm. Twilight is the height of literature. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to know if you're naked. Okay. Um, Did your mom ever do the PTA? My mom was very active in the PTA. Mine was too. So you know parents can be very passionate about their kids, about their students, you know, about their, Mm -hmm. their, you know, their education and whatnot. And they go to great lengths on that, and I respect that. I think this is maybe taking it a wee bit too far. Parents fight at kindergarten graduation at Cleveland. Eight in custody. I I heard about this on the radio and I, I I just don't even, I don't. A fight at a Cleveland kindergarten graduation ended with eight people being taken to police custody. The scuffle apparently broke out. When some refreshments were spilled. Fight broke out at 11 a.m. following a kindergarten graduation at Michael R. White Elementary School. Witnesses reportedly say the fight broke out between parents after some punch was accidentally spilled. Police recovered a hammer at the scene. If only there were some 
cliche phrase regarding spilled liquids and how to react to them that people said to children a lot that would fit this scenario. So what I'm, but when you, your kids are over there orderly lined up, respectfully, the little gaps and gowns, they're getting their little diplomas, and you're over in the corner throwing juice. Well, we've had this happen at kids' soccer games, too, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Where, like, the kids are happily playing soccer, and their parents are kicking the fuck out of each other on the sideline. Like, I don't know how, it's weird to me, like, working retail has taught me, I don't know where kids are learning their manners, because I've dealt with a lot of absolutely barbaric parents with very polite children. I had a daughter kick her mother in the shins in my store and tell her, mom, you're being rude. And I'm like, thank God you have that child because clearly, but where did she learn that? Clearly it wasn't from you. I know. Like the children are learning. to. It's almost like the children are learning proper decorum as a sense of rebellion. <laughs> Like, that's the new rebellion, acting We're, like a decent human being. Ah. That, that actually kind of makes sense. Yeah. Eight people. Did no one stop during that whole thing and go, wait a minute, we are being idiots. It's a kindergarten graduation, and we're ruining it. Persp fucking perspective. Like, these kids just want to sing... You are my sunshine in their little paper cap and gown and have some cookies. And we're fucking it up. Yeah, apparently that didn't occur to anybody. Your kids have diplomas written in crayon and they are better behaved than you are. And don't you feel bad for those kids? Like. Oh, yeah. Like you don't get to go to Chuck E. Cheese to celebrate because mommy's in jail. That's horrible. Like, that's legit horrible. I mean, there are certainly worse fates that a six year old could face, but. Daddy, I want pizza. Well, hold on, honey. We got to go bail out mommy. Like, how fucked up and self centered and completely out of touch with reality do you have to be to fuck up your own child's kindergarten graduation that way? And the hammer. Someone brought that with them. They were ready for a rumble. I'm Who brings a hammer to a kindergarten graduation? Honestly. Somebody who thinks something might need repair. <laughs> oh, OK. Uh, it was not Thor. It was not Thor. No. You're about. I don't think Balder was graduating kindergarten. <laughs> Oh, busting out the mythology. Okay, um, this next one, Tara, you're going to be mad. I'm kind of mad. You're going to be really mad. I'm already mad. mad. People fucked up kindergartners. Uh, you're going to be really mad about this one. And th this, you know what? All women everywhere. I've never, I have no part of this. I take no responsibility for this, but I'm sorry. Y'all got to put up with this shit. You know about this fucking upskirt thing? Which, good Christ. Just watch porn. I know. There's so much vagina on the internet already. Go find some. Go find some. Well, this one, porn. this one comes from Bristol in the UK and. Um, it's a big thing with the paparazzi over there. Like, poor Emma Watson, Hermione Granger had to like be lifted out of cars for like two years. Uh, like it's a thing. Well, this guy hadn't probably, I will give him this. It's a novel attempt to get out of this problem um, that he put himself in. Bristol man told police he was trying to light a fart, not film up a woman's skirt. Man walked into a bar and attempted to take a photograph of a woman's skirt. Judge watched closed caption TV footage of Brian Whitehead entering Lord's Bar, um, placing a mystery object under a woman's clothing as she stood at the bar. 
When Whitehead was tracked down, he could see that his actions looked distinctly dodgy, but instead he had not been holding a camera or phone saying it had been a cigarette lighter. He told officers, quote, maybe I was trying to light a fart. It could have been a joke. Maybe someone says, I bet you a fiver if you light or fart. In court, Whitehead told the jury, when I made that cop, it was flippant remark in the interview room. It, it's, <laughs> That's a great lie, because if that were true and he had done it, he would have been committing aggravated assault. Yes, it's fire. It's fire. So that was really cool of him to confess oh. to a much worse crime. OK, OK. Kitro said liar, liar, pants on fire. Very nice. And the cat said farts can be lit. Yep. Yep. Sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. But uh, uh, it's like your excuse is not better. It's not you say, oh, no, it's OK. I was just trying to light her fart. That's not better. No. That's not better. It's like, you know, you're you're outside giving weed to kids. And you're going, oh, it's OK. Well, I, no, it's OK. At least it's not cocaine. No, it's not better. Actually, it's more like saying, oh, no, I was just giving it to them because I have cocaine at home and I don't need it. Not better. That's that cop to the list. Uh, fair. Also, just go home and watch some porn, for God's sake. Like, there's so much vagina on the Internet. Yeah. But there are dudes that legit like Reddit has a whole forum for that, like a whole like dirty pictures taken of unsuspecting women. Like that's a thing on Reddit. There's a whole forum for it for dudes that like will surreptitiously take pictures up women's skirts or down our shirts or whatever and then post them on fucking Reddit. In 10 years, there's going to be the Internet and there's going to be the creepy Internet. Because it's just going to be it to be so much that, you know, will there be anything on the Internet? Um, the hamster dance. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's a little creepy. That actually. is a little creepy. Yeah. Do yeah. you know there's a hippo dance? No, but obviously you did. Hippodance.com. It exists. It's transcendent. Great. You got the entire audience right now is going, hold on, click. It's put, uh, like you will reach nirvana at calm. Guaranteed. Are you pausing to let them all? Well, it doesn't. I've got the music muted, but. Oh, for God's sake, I guess I have to, to put it on one where you can hear the music. Okay, then let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Quickly. <laughs> All right. Um, back that up. So we've had that doesn't go there. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. We've seen that doesn't go there in so many, so many places. This is a new one. I mean, I, I've heard of a battering ram, but this is ridiculous. Anthony Barry. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Anthony Barry. Lake Worth man accused of indecent act on business door. An employee at the Hypo Luxo business whipped out her iPhone, called 911 and started filming as a man began performing a sexual act on the business's door on Monday began when the employee who was identified in the report told uh, police she saw Anthony Bruce Berry, 57, of Lake Worth, and going to get his picture up there on the page because he's just, wow, he, he looks happy. He, he's a happy camper. Um, 
uh, walked to the back of the business, uh, and not long after, Barry was back near the front door, reaching for the door handle only to find it locked. Shortly after, the employee told police Barry displayed his private parts. He then performed an indecent act on the door. He then walked to a nearby bus bench and took a seat. Police found him shortly after, and when asked if he did the act, he smiled and said, quote, Yes, I have a mental problem. What indecent act are we thinking here? Apparently he was humping the door. And dude, if you can fit in the keyhole, you got problems. Because there is nowhere to you got stick pra. it in a door. I'm confused. <laughs> Those are crazy men knocking at our door. Let's go Let's kill them. Shimmy his rear down. <sighs> Was he like sodomizing himself with the door? Mm, I, Can you do that? Uh, I've never tried. I just, oh God. I don't expect to try anytime soon either. I just, motherfucker. At least he was honest. At least, you know, he would, he, he's gonna say, yes, I have a mental problem. Done. Yeah. We don't have to question this story. For once, we don't have to ask why. We don't have to, to sit here and go, why would you do it? I have a mental problem. Thank you. I think that much was clear. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's, that just, in a bow, tied up in a bow. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out the logistics. That's going to be bothering me <laughs> tonight. <laughs> and you see you with some graph paper going. Okay, so got the dick and it goes. You're gonna be searching door. for door porn to try and. I, I, I'm a visual. No, learner. don't do it. You will be sorry. Why? Do you think it's gonna scar me at this point? I'm usually the one handing out the scars. I'll just share it with everybody on Twitter. So our last story is. Have you ever met that one guy? There's always one in any given crowd. Who just doesn't get it. He's just a little tiny click out of step with everyone else and doesn't understand why what he's doing. Ain't a good thing. Yes. And this is. This and is, if you don't know that guy, you probably are that guy. <laughs> this this one here, and this is from New Jersey. I think this guy wins that category. Forever. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt. Engineering what? dude says, I'm the Oprah of scarring. And you get scarred for life. And you get <laughs> for life. <laughs> uh, I like that. Uh, well, this is the epitome of that guy. I think this guy wins the that guy category. Father shows up to family court hearing wearing Nazi uniform. Father apparently seeking to get visitation rights to his youngest son showed up in court in a Nazi uniform today. Heath Campbell is the father of four children, including Adolf Hitler Campbell. The family drew national media attention in December 2008 when they tried to have a cake inscribed with, quote, Happy Birthday, Adolf Hitler. The store refused. See, I'm going to say an unpopular thing here. Yes, this dude is obviously <laughs> horrible. Mm -hmm. But, like... Being a Nazi isn't child abuse. No, it's not child abuse. It's not illegal. 
raising your children to be Nazis isn't child abuse. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. You shouldn't do it. You're an enormous bag of dicks. You're 12 pounds of dicks in a five pound bag. But it's all but it's all it's not abuse. That's not illegal. It's one of those things, however, especially in this particular situation where. Like that, I would call a first amendment violation. Like mm-hmm. you have a right to be as much of a dick bag as you want. Yes, you have a right to be a dick bag. Yes. But you are antagonizing people who make decisions is the thing. It's no, one I mean of those taking the kids away in the first place. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Like, well, you let's see. what was your, the you took this guy's kids away because he named his kid Adolf Hitler. There's nothing illegal about that. But to double down on the shit like that. Yes, that's incredibly stupid. I'm just saying. I mean, that and that. Yeah, it is incredible. That is one of those. I'm five kind of things. That is one I I, you know, I, I'm going to be a jackass in public because I can. You think you would go into court, you'd put on a suit, not with visible swastika tattoos on your neck and smoking a cigarette. Yeah. I know you don't like the court all that much, but it's one of those things. If you're going to when in Rome. You don't try to put the Romans into gas chambers. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I just, I mean, yes, that was a really stupid thing to do. It's antagonistic. Needlessly so. You're hurting your own case. You're a moron. He's obviously basically made of puked up oatmeal and snot. They shouldn't have taken. I'm, I'm going to grant you they shouldn't have well, taken the kids. I'm just. Hey, right, like that weirds me out a little bit. But the fact that he shows up for like the, we're not taking away the Westboro Baptist Church's kids and they're far more dangerous than some asshole redneck neo-Nazi in nowhere. I, I think that sets a weird precedent and it weirds me out a little bit. But this guy definitely is a great A. Oh, well, OK, well, there's there is a domestic violence via con- a conviction making terroristic threats against a former ro- wife. All right. Uh, she provided detailed documentation regarding several incidents of physical and psychological abuse. OK, that's a reason to take the kids away. Sold. According to the 49 page decision, Campbell had been unemployed throughout his adult life because of medical and psychological disabilities. He can't read. He was married twice before and does not support or see his other children. Well, he sounds like a winner. Yep. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I really wonder, I really, really wonder how people get to adulthood and function without being able to read. He's... That's not a joke, and that's not a knock on... I mean, it happens, and those people manage to live lives, and in a way, that's sort of wonderful. They're brilliant for compensating, but I really wonder how it's possible. You would think the master race would have mastered C. Dick Run. I'm just saying. Well, he mastered C. Dick in the mirror. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I guess I guess the, the first thing we learned is... You know, what's weird is <clears throat> this dude has found multiple women who will have sex with him. Well, I guess that means there's hope for all of us. I mean, for certain values of hope, this guy is bred multiple times. Yeah, he's in the gene pool now, isn't he? He peed all up in that pool. Idiocracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm sad. This makes me sad. Yeah circle of life so yeah we, we we've kind of learned here there's a time and a place yes and it's not in court there's you, time and a place to show to play you know dress up with your gables you drag. are allowed to believe any damn thing you want that's the beauty of america but we are also allowed to believe you're a fucking idiot and respond yes. respond accordingly 
We he learned- should be sentenced to having everybody in the world point and laugh at him when he walks around in public. Forever. <laughs> we learned that when you're drunk, listen to that little voice that's saying you might be going the extra step too far because if you're not careful, you will be attacking people with your vagina. Listen to that voice that says you live in New York City, which means you're probably taking the subway home, which means you're going to want your underwear. You don't want to sit on a subway seat commando. You're making me sad. (laughs) (laughs) These are survival tips for life. people. Oh, God. Um, We learned about hippo dance. We learned about hippo dance. We learned that after all this time, someone will still do the plain old classic naked crazy. Bringing it back. It's retro. It's retro naked crazy. And yet the attack vagina, not a super effective weapon. Not really, no. That is not the Pokeball you should choose. (laughs) We've learned apparently, yes, you can fuck a door. We just don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've I'm going to do some research and get back to you on that next week. We've learned that just because you have an excuse for something you're doing, that doesn't mean it's a better excuse. No. Think the shit through. Just get, go. And I think we need to add a rule to our list. We have no one wants to see your dick. Mm -hmm. There's nothing sexy at the Walmart. That doesn't go there. I think we need to add just watch porn. Yeah, that's a good rule. Do not pass go. Do not upskirt strangers. Do not read Fifty Shades of Grey. Just watch porn. That's a good. Everybody will be happier. That's a good rule. That's brilliant. That that, she's brilliant. Brilliant. That's this is brilliant. It's a good rule. That's why you pay me the big bucks. (laughs) Yeah. And lastly, we've learned when your children don't need a timeout, but you do. Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up. That would have been the fantastic irony of all of like the kids uprose and were like, Mommy, you need a time out. (laughs) It's nap time. That would have been art if the kids like rolled out the nap nap mats and put all their parents down. (laughs) (sighs) That's just, you know. Kindergarten graduation. Those poor kids, man. <laughs> uh, okay, in the channel, Lionheart. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I thought this was America. Well, also, again, in America, you have a right to be as big an asshole as you want. We have a right to point and laugh at you. Also, the guy bringing the hammer. Fuck you. Maybe it was Captain Hammer. I mean, and if that's true, do you are your you ass kicked by Nathan Fillion at a kindergarten graduation? Probably the best story um, you're ever to tell. Did, did you remember what the hammer actually is? Which would bring us back around a naked crazy. But that would be Nathan Fillion naked crazy. So that would be OK. So getting it's your n- ass kicked at a kindergarten graduation by naked Nathan Fillion. Definitely the best. story. So you're it's ever never tell. going to happen. I'm just saying it would be a really good story. Did I ever tell you about the time Nathan Fillion kicked my ass with his dick at a kindergarten graduation? Wow. 